Hello everyone, I am Doran Only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. And welcome to part 4 of my Pokemon Blue Let's Play. Last time, on Pokemon Blue... Ah, oh, son of a bi- So yeah, I lost all my recorded footage that I previously took, where we went from Rock Tunnel to Lavender Town. Um, where we finished arriving at Lavender Town. We didn't get to explore the town, but we did get we, but we finished by healing our Pokemon. So now we're going to be continue on, continuing our let's play by starting with exploring Lavender Town. To start off, let's begin with some of the stuff you should know about Lavender Town. Number one, it's a purpley lavendery town colour. <laughs> it's a lavendery colour town. It's quite creepy compared to the other towns, because this is where Pokemon come to die. Well, this is where Pokemon are buried. As the signs showed you, uh, no, not this one. No, new Silphco, make the invisible plane to see. Silphco. So, obviously if you look through stuff with the Silphco, but there should be a sign around here somewhere. I think it's this one. Lavender Town, the noble purple town. But yes, this town is very creepy, and you can tell it's very creepy by the music. The music is special to Lavender Town. It's it's got tons of myths and legends surrounding it, surrounding it. One of them being that in the original release of Pokemon Red and Blue in the, in Japan, entitled Pokemon Red and Green, um, the music in Lavender Town was different. It was a pitch higher than what it's, what's playing right now. And it was that pitch higher that caused some kids in Japan to commit suicide. Yes, the tune was so loud in their was the, tune, the tune was so loud and so devastating that it committed it, it sent children into this frenzy of killing themselves. And, this, it, it, and it's a recorded fact. Like you can find it on Wikipedia <laughs> and other legitimate news websites. But it is a thing that happens. Like, wow, Pokemon kill people. It's really strange to think about. Like, just this one little thing in this entire amazing game caused kids to off themselves. It's really, really creepy and really sad to think about it. So, ever since then, ever since finding out that fact, it's just, to me, it's just made Lavender Town that ever more creepy. And begin to begin with, Lavender Town was creepy. Ghosts appear in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of co Pokemon that the Rockets killed. There, we have one line that says Pokemon that the Rockets killed. Team Rocket killed Pokemon. They didn't just steal, they were running around killing people. And, not people, Pokemon. This town is known as the gravesite of Pokemon. A royal service are held in the Pokemon Tower. That old Mr. Fuji is uh, that old Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? This is the, this is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after the abandoned and orphan Pokemon. Pokemon monthly grand prize drawing prize. The application form is gone. It's been clipped out. So uh, Mr. Fuji, who lives in this house, is gone. He's mysteriously disappeared. But hey, the, the nice beer pal, Lavender Town. It's a nice change of music when you enter the name rater's house. Hello, hello, I am the official name rater. Want me to rate the nickname of your Pokemon? Yes, which Pokemon should I look at? Let's finally give our HM slave his proper name. How about it? Yes. Fine, we should, we should name it. Um, HM Slave. I'm gonna try and level up Bell Sprout, but he's not gonna be very useful. Not that a grass Pokemon is not useful. I hate those horrible rockets. That poor Cubone's mother. It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. Yeah, I feel bad too, Cubone. Wait, is that the, is that the Cubone? That's just sad. Like, they. they 
Team Rocket were trying to catch a Cubone. Like, there's not a lot of Marowak and Cubone running around. And they killed its mother. But here is one of the creepiest things in Lavender Town. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, well, I'm wearing my Ghostbusters t-shirt today. So, um, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I don't believe they exist. No. <laughs> I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder. It's not real. Uh, moving on. And finally, we have the Pokemon Tower. May the souls of Pokemon rest easy. Pokemon Tower. Pokemon Tower has erected was erected in the memory of Pokemon that have died. So like wow. I came to pray for my my fairy. Sniff, I can't stop crying. Did you come to pay respects? Bless you. I, I didn't sneeze, but thank you. My Growlithe, why did you die? Like it's so sad. I'm a channeler. Okay, here's a point that I want to make out. When I was a kid. I did not know how to say that word. Channeler. It's a, it's a someone who channels spirits. But I didn't know what I was. To me, I thought it said channeler. Now, I don't know what channeler means, because I had been a little kid and I'm just like, well, I don't know what that is. I had no idea what it meant. There are spirits up to mischief. So, that's why we've chosen today, uh, I've chosen today, we're going to switch to Spoonie, and he's going to be our main uh, ghost killing friend of a friend. Uh, but first, I know what's coming up, so I'm gonna be prepared for that. Is that soon we have. I'm gonna save pretty quick. Oh, look! It's Richard. I wonder what he's doing here. I mean, the last time we saw him was SSN. Hey, Ronnie! What brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. <laughs> I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. Okay, number one, we're fighting in a graveyard. <laughs> number two, you don't want to kill my Pokemon, but you at least make them faint? That's just me. And we try some Dunk Pijotto at level 25. But thankfully, I have cheese. It's super effective. Just, yeah, yeah, go on. Pikachu's defense is really easy. Really easy. Really easy. Uh, if I, think, I think I'm gonna improve his defense. Well, his defense will, uh, defense will improve when he evolves into a Raichu. And luckily, in the next town, we'll have be able, be able to do that. Make Pikachu a little bit bulky. Oh, Gyarados! Now, I'm gonna be careful here, because I think this Gyarados has Dragon Rage, which does 40 damage each time it attacks. Oh! Ow. He's going to do Leer as well, which will lower my attack anyway. Hopefully I might be able to take it down. Come on, Pikachu. Oh, critical hit as well. Oh, Hydro Pump. Oh, I did bit missed. That was lucky. It's super effective. Nicely done, Cheeks. Level 27. Nice. I think level 28 is really learn Thunderbolt. Uh, Growlithe. So let's send out Leonardo. Gun. Oh, come on, almost. Raw. Oh, Leon, is unaffected. Nice try, buddy. I'm gonna bite you anyway. Nom, 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 nom. Leon, go to level 30. Sweet. Two levels, uh, two levels from a master evolving to Blastoise. Ooh, Kadabra, psychic type. Um, we're gonna switch to. Uh, it's really. Actually, it's. It should be really low level, yeah, it's level 20, so I should have to go down. Confusion. Wow, critical hit. I became confused, wow. Oh, and it hurt myself. Jesus. Okay, you can't teleport. Come on, Leonardo. No, Leo, come on. Oh, Leo might be fainting. Oh, he held on in there. Come on, Leonardo. Yes, confused no more. Fight. 
Oh! I think he's a little bit faster than me, so I'm gonna heal. <laughs> I, I, he's, he's too, he, I know he's faster than me, so he will, yeah, he will confuse me again. Critical hit again! Yeah, nicely done. So now Ivy Saw? Wait, what happened to his Raticate? That's why he's in Lavender Town! His, his Raticate died! He's come, to, he's come to bury his Raticate! Wow, that's that's really. That's really. That's really dark for Pokemon. You killed a Pokemon! Well, it's a fan theory, but still. Poison powder. Ah, oh, didn't affect. Nicely done, Fluffy Bird. Turn down the Ivysaur. Nicely done, Fluffy Bird. What, you stinker? I took it easy on you too. Took it easy on me? How's your Pokédex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubo. I can't find them growing up Marowak. Yep. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. I'm gonna smell you later. Looked at my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. See you, Gary. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna quickly heal up our Pokemon. And I think there's an. I'm gonna check my items, but I think there's something I can, because I think I'm coming up to my item limit in my bag. So I'm gonna check what items I got. Uh, TM plate, I can get rid of that. Repel, I can probably use that. Uh, what else can I use? TM11, I think it's Bubble Beam. I got that from Misty, so I need to use that. Uh, give that to Leonardo, obviously. Obviously. Right. Um, I don't know why I'm happy singing today, but um, there you go, Bubble Beam. So yeah, if you're re recently watching this video, um, if, you're, if you're recently watching this video, so if you're watching this video, uh, I recently completed the Owls Ice Packet Challenge, but I didn't do it for uh, ALS, the ALS based Ice Packet Challenge, so I don't know why you call it Owls, Owls. The ALS Ice Packet Challenge, I recently completed it, but I didn't do it for uh, ALS, I did it for the Motor Neurone Disease Association, which, uh, which is an English uh, charity, and again, another charity, um, which the UK, uh, most UK people who do the Ice Packet Challenge do it for. So I joined in, the, I, I joined in and um, I was nominated by my best friend James, which you all know if you wouldn't know my channel. Um, and um, yeah, I did the, did the Ice Packet Challenge and it was fun. I mean, it was cold and it was, but it was over really quickly. So didn't, you know, wasn't over that, wasn't, you know, that bad. So yeah, uh, I hope everyone else has done the Ice Packet Challenge too and donated their fair share. Silphscope might be able to unmask them, so you can... But today is all about uh, ghost hunting. Oh, repress effect will walk fast. That was fast. I, get... well, I was going walking around in circles. Um, so yeah, today uh, we're going ghost hunting. So we need our ghost busting machine, Spoonie. Cause busting makes me feel good. Na -na. And here we go, our first ghost. Ghost appeared. Darn, the ghost can't be ID'd. And if you try and fight, you can't. It's too scared. If you try and throw a Pokeball, you can't catch it. Get out. Get out. It's, yeah, so you can't reach anything. Until you have the Sylph Scope. But you can get a lot, plenty of items in here and battle lots of trainers. Oops. So here we go, our first battle of a channeler. Channeler wants to fight.
Come on, Spoonie. Level 23, Ghastly. Or Ghastly. Uh, I go Ghastly. Ooh, Nightshade, that's not going to be good. too good. But don't worry. Psychic is, uh, Psychic is super effective. Super effective. Yeah. Psychic is super effective against Nightshade, uh, against Ghost type Pokemon. Oh no! Oh no, Spoonie! Um. Already defeated Chandler. Uh, Chan <laughs> Chandler? <laughs> Chandler. What? Huh? I'm saved. The ghost can be identified by the oscilloscope. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I think I might. Do I have any revives? Uh. Nope. No revives. Uh. So I might have to use the escape rope and go heal. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna use the escape rope and go heal. Because Speedy's supposed to be my main guy. I need to. Let's keep him alive. He's going to be taking down all these ghost type Pokemon and I'm going to be leveling him up. For. in preparation for the fourth gym. Which we all know is Erica, the grass type gym. But she also, used to, she also uses poison type Pokemon. Uh, grass slash poison type Pokemon. So I'm just going to fast forward here. Um, till we're back at the top of the tap, until we're back, uh, till we're back where we were. That's better. So, let's go down this way. Oh, no, another ghost. Oh, another ghost, come on! There we go. Kiki ki Kwa! It's, it's like, I had, like, as a kid, I had no idea what was going on. But now, as a 20-something-year-old, uh, I realised, like, what their, what their deal was. They're possessed by the Pokemon. By the, by the Pokemon they own. For example, um... This channeler is po is possessed by her ghastly. Another nightshade. Come on, Spoony. Oof. Oh, almost one. Oh, quickle hit. Almost one hit KO. Oh, I'm confused. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna heal just in case. Come on, knock yourself out. No, oh, confuse Ray. Yeah, there we go. Nice done, Spoonie. Hmm? What am I doing? See, the, see, all come out like, like, huh? What was that? Sorry, I was possessed. And they, they, there we go. I was possessed. So they're possessed by the Pokemon they're carrying. Be gone, evil spirit! Ghastly, but this one is a level 22 Ghastly. Ghastly, Ghastly. I prefer saying Ghastly, but I don't mind saying Ghastly. Crickle here, nicely done. Whew, that spirit left. And another one came back. Uh, another ghost type, another ghost Pokemon. Favourite that's how we go. with me. Kua! Be cursed with me? How do we get cursed? Okay, so this one's been possessed by two ghosts? That's, that's... It makes sense. It does really make sense if you think about it. Lick, but it's no effect. Has no effect. Spoon Land is able. Uh, 
It's not like I'm saying, like, this table. This table. This table. It's just like, ah, oh, breathe on this table. This, this table. So yeah, now you know, kids, how to fight off ghosts, use a spoon. Critical hit, very nice. Or I defeated Chandler. 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 What? We can't crack the identity of the ghosts. So yeah, like, imagine you're a ten-year-old kid. You're walking for a... This, this is the situation I'm in right now. As imagine yourself as this trainer, as this Pokemon trainer. You're a ten-year-old kid, right? You're walking for a graveyard, and ghosts are real. They don't want to attack you or anything. They keep telling you to get out. But... <laughs> Beat me not! And it's just like, and they just come at you, like, and, and these people who are possessed by ghosts come at you, and they're freaky. It's, I would be terrified! This is a ten-year-old! Like, what the hell, Pokemon? Oh, yes. Came confused. Knock yourself out. Oof! One HP. Nicely done. It's been good to level 21. Can't wait for it to land Psybeam. Oh, Psybeam's such a good move. Huh? Who? What? May the departed souls of Pokemon rest in peace. Rest in peace indeed. So yeah, yeah uh, speaking of rest in peace, uh, and the ghosts busted in this we're going through, uh, I, I was very sad and I, I shed a tear when Harold Ramis, uh, the uh, actor, the famous actor who plays, who, who wrote uh, and starred in Ghostbusters as uh, Egon, passed away. It was really sad. Ghost? No! Qua! I have a poster on my wall, uh, in my, um, at home, at home, I have a poster on my wall, uh, where it's Slimer holding hands with Egon as he's put the, uh, proton pack next to a wall as Slimer walks with him to the, to the next life. It's really sweet. On my wall. And today I'm wearing my Ghostbusters t-shirt. And as I'm recording this right now, it's dark outside, so all the, all the more creepy. Where is the ghost? I must have been dreaming. Uh, I think there's one more trainer up here. No, uh, no. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably edit out all these ghosts. Because there's a lot of them, and they keep popping up. I think, yeah, this is the... Purifying room. I did not read that one. What that one said, Ben. I did not read what she said. What's the fight? Channel and how ghastly. Okay, confused. Very nice. Oh, Nightshade. Come on, Spoonie. Nicely done. Triple hit. What? A nightmare? I have, I have a lot of weird nightmares. I was possessed. Yeah, they keep saying that. I have, I have a lot of weird nightmares. I don't, I, I don't know. Don't, don't get me wrong. I get some. I get some good dreams, but I get a lot. Of, I have a bad. I have some bad nightmares. I have some bad uh, stuff. Come, child. I still this space with white magic. You can rest here. Ronnie Speck on a free heal. Nice. Oh, there's a nice one down there. Oh, there's a traveler. Zombies. That's. Okay, oh, the other ones have said, like, weird stuff, but you just said zombies. That's... wow. You made my spine sh shiver. You sent a shiver down my spine. But nice, that white spot killed all our Pokemon.
Green Goose Level 22. Very nice. Huh? Go back and just reheal really quickly. Oh, another ghost. Speed up. Another ghost. Oh, awesome. Mug it. What? Oh, a Haunter. I really like Haunter Sprite in this. It's all black and purple. It's so cool. Liquid doesn't have any effects. So this is going to be another easy kill for Spoonie. I'm going to get a lot of XP though. 594. Not too bad. Woo. Indeed. Woo. That's just creepy. Trying to send out Haunter. Go Spoonie! Confused. And it hurt itself. Very nice. Free. Very nice. I keep saying very nice. That's really weird. Gasp! That was weird. Uh, I was under possession. Another one. So they're all under possession. They're all being haunted. They're all being possessed by these ghosts. Give me blood. Oh, great. Vampires. Wait, do ghosts want blood as well? Oh, ghosts want blood. Oh, maybe it's got more than it. No, I don't think so. I, I think it's just more of a zombie thing. No, wait, that's not a zombie, it's a vampire thing. Come on, Spoonie, you should be able to take down these ghosts now. You should be one hit KO, one hit KOing everything. Get cool, get hits in there, though. Coming at the wrong time. Another ghastly? <laughs> so it's, 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 maybe it's ghastly. That's how you do it in the anime. Uh, in, in the anime? <laughs> in the anime. It's self in confusion. No, come on, Spoonie. Ah, oh, Nightshade. Come on, Spoonie. Come on, Spoonie. Yeah, there we go. It's about to use another ghastly. Gas is quite pretty cool. Oh no! I should have healed! Oh no! Okay, it's confused, right? That's fine. Uh, sh should heal. Right, enough? That's good. You keep burping. That's not good. Uh, Lick does nothing. He slide me, Ray. He slide me. Mercy time. That's what I'm talking about, Spoonie. Defeated Chandler, Chandler, Chandler. Groan, wow. I feel anemic and weak. Oh, that's why she wants my blood. These channels are weird. There's something strange in your neighbor. Who you gonna call? Gassed Busters! If there's something weird, and it don't look good. Who you gonna call? Gassed Busters! What's going on here? I have no idea. Um, well, I'm seeing Ghostbusters. Ugh. Like, 
the English translation guy must have had a field day with this one. He's like, all I've got to do is write people possessed. What do possessed people say? <laughs> Something fell out. What? Hair didn't fall out. It was an evil spirit. Okay. Why is your hair falling out? Another ghost. Ooh, red candy. That's a big Twinkie. <laughs> so here we are at the top of the tower. And something strange happens at the top of the tower. If you try and go up these stairs. Be called intruders. You enter into, into battle with a ghost at... Darn, the ghost can't be ID'd. At level 30? And once again, you can't really attack it, you can't catch it, it's just level 30 ghost. And it'll push you away every single time you try and get to the... Try and get in there. So, the only thing you can do is go out and back... And go out in the tower. Can you use an escape rope? Uh, so yeah, we've explored all of Lavender Town, um, we've talked to everyone, we've done some ghost busting in the tower, so, uh, I'm just gonna do, uh, we'll finish off by going to the Pokemon Mart and selling what new items we have, I need to get rid of some items. Um, so yeah, we've explored Lavender Town, uh, I think it's a good point to end it there. So, uh... Next time on The Run Only Plays Pokemon Blue, we'll be heading west to Celadon City to uh, tackle the uh, Erica, uh, to have a look around, to go to the department store and get maybe an evolutionary stone for cheeks, uh, and having a look around Celadon City and just uh, preparing for our next gym battle. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more from The Run and Only. I've been run only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, I'm Doron Only, and there's nobody I'd rather be, and welcome to my Let's Play of Surgeon Simulator 2013, with my best friend, James Vale. Say hi James. Yeah! Hi, how you doing? Hello everyone, I am the Doron Only, and there's nobody I'd rather be, and welcome to my Let's Play of Theme Park World for the PlayStation 1. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest, my sister Nina. Hello say everyone. Say hi Nina. Hello. We're excited about this, because it used to be my favourite game as a child. 